So let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, ratings. The Butch Kids. One of the most frequently asked questions that I get both as a driver and in my videos is how much do ratings actually matter? Ratings matter a lot. Driving for Lyft, about 80% of my passengers rate. Driving for Uber, about 40% of my passengers rate. I don't know why there's such a difference. Perhaps it's something about the way the app prompts you. Perhaps it's because most of the people who use Lyft in my city are also drivers. I'm not sure. But I do know that it is really hard to keep a high rating. I have done over 100 drives and I only have 54 ratings. Tonight I did 8 drives and I got 4 ratings. In order to keep your account active, you have to keep a rating of 4.7 or higher. I currently have a 4.72 and for a while I was stuck in a 4.69 and could not get out of it. Now most people think that 3 is a perfectly fine job, but the way that it works in Uber and Lyft is not the case. If you give someone a 3, you could be causing them to lose their job. This sucks. It's a really stupid system. I personally think that it should go to a thumbs up, thumbs down system like YouTube did, but there's really not anything that I can do about it besides spread the word. I bought these little signs that help inform people that anything less than 5 stars is bad, and also to remind people to rate. It's really awkward to end your drives with, hey, can you please remember to rate, but it's so important. Especially as a new driver, it can be really hard to get out of one bad night beginning. And Uber historically won't remove bad ratings. I've heard that Lyft does, but I've never had to do it myself, so I don't have any experience in that. It's a dumb system. They should either alter it or they should have a little prompt that says anything less than 5 stars is really bad and 4.7 stars gets them cancelled. Because even if someone takes a wrong turn, I'd rather put it in as a 5 and put a note that says, hey, just be better at your navigation. This one guy picked me up and it was their first time driving for Lyft. He had a bunch of stuff in his car. There was a French fry on the seat. He was not prepared at all to pick people up. But rather than giving him a really bad rating for his first drive and putting him in a hole he then had to climb out of, I gave him five stars with a detailed list of what he needs to fix to be a better driver. I know that I'm artificially giving him a better rating than he deserves, but he's also starting out and he has a chance to learn. Just so you know, drivers can only see what you write if it's on a rating of five. If it's a rating four below, we can't see what you write. Okay, it's 7 a.m. and I've been up since 2. Good night or good morning. Bye.